Hello everybody, I'm Tessa. I teach yoga um, for every stage of a woman's life really. So I'm really interested in women and how they feel about their bodies. And so I've asked Helen along today, who's my belly dancing teacher extraordinaire, <laughs> <laughs> to talk a little bit about um, belly dancing and how women feel about their bodies. Because it's going on to classes, it's um, really made an impression on me. So I want to start asking you why did you get hooked on belly dancing rather than any other kind of dancing? Um, it was pure chance actually where I was working at the time. I just graduated from university and I was working in an office and um, an email just popped in uh, my inbox to say that there was a taster class for ladies belly dancing and um, to me that sounded um, unmissable really so I went along and the thing that hooked me onto it was actually the music mm. um, so I hadn't really listened to much Middle Eastern music before I didn't know anything about that kind of music I didn't really understand any kind of the real connection between belly dancing and Middle Eastern music I came in completely cold as it were and uh, heard the music um, and that was really what hooked me onto it and then of course finding out that you get to wear bling <laughs> was the other thing as well because um, I do like a bit of bling and uh, and obviously the dancing as well um, but it was it was actually the whole sort of package um, that got me hooked onto it uh, and yeah just I went to as many classes as I possibly could back then which back then in about 2000 and one or two, there really was, weren't mm -hmm. that many classes going on, so you had to search around and I found whatever classes I could mm. and um, did as much as I could. Mm. Yeah. Because one thing that's really struck me from going on to the classes is that over the weeks and over the months I've been going, everybody in the class seems to have improved in confidence in terms of their body and sort of maybe the first show they were a bit unsure and the mm. second, you know, they got a more glamorous mm. sort of costume and I wondered whether you can talk about why maybe belly dancing does that for somebody. It's interesting isn't it because it that's something that I didn't expect when I started teaching um, I didn't really think that much about that the sort of effect it would have I just thought oh it's a dance class people will come along you know get some exercise have some fun and over the years that's been a, a real unexpected consequence mm -hmm. that I've seen through the students um, which has been it has been wonderful and I've tried to be you know mindful of that um, as I've gone along um, as to why it is that's a really good question um, and I sometimes think about that I wonder if it might be because belly dancing is one of those things that a lot of us come to not having learned as a child but we come to it later in life um, and so there are a lot of people starting at the same time, if you know what yes. I mean. There's a lot of people starting mm -hmm. like maybe after they've had children or, mm -hmm. you know, when they once they've started work. It's not the sort of thing that you have to have done since you were a child. And mm -hmm. um, if you miss the boat when you're a child, then that's mm -hmm. it. You know, you're, you're not really going to master it. Um, and I think sometimes women see others in a similar you know age or situation mm -hmm. and they see them starting as a beginner and doing so well I think sometimes that can be sort of embolden people to yeah. do it mm -hmm. um, sometimes if I take a group of students to perform at an event you know it's, it's amazing the amount of people that come up to me afterwards and just say oh that's fantastic oh, it's really great it wasn't what I was expecting um, and it 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 gives women it just plants that seed in their mind, I think, that says, oh, maybe I could do this, and then they do, mm -hmm. and are pleasantly surprised of what they can achieve. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just the fact that they actually are willing to give it a go without necessarily predicting any results. Mm -hmm. But then as they realise that they can do it, I think you do get a certain kind of confidence when you master something that you haven't necessarily been studying for since you were mm. young, mm. if you know what I mean. Yeah. It's a new thing that you do and mm. um, and it rubs off on the other students as well. Mm. I think it's this is another thing that I never thought that much about when I first started teaching. Mm. But actually, um, it sounds like a bit of a cliche, but it really is that sort of community feel. 
And not necessarily that you're part of this massive community, but I, I mean, like a little micro one in your own class. It might just be two or three other yeah. people that you're with. And um, it just takes one person in the class to say, well, why don't we perform this in the show? Or mm. why don't we perform this here and there? Mm. And, um, and it kind of rubs off on each other. Mm. It's infectious, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it yeah. really is. And it's, it, you motivate each other and you sort of, you know, just take someone else sometimes, not necessarily your teacher, but just mm. somebody else in the class to suggest something or just give you a little nudge and then mm. they find themselves doing what they wouldn't expect to do. Yeah. Because I know in our class, gradually as, as the course has gone on, more and more flesh is being revealed. <laughs> <laughs> People's tummies are suddenly being yeah. shamed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the question I get when people first want to join is, do I have to show my tummy? Um, I'm a bit shy, um, that, that kind of thing, and they, they're really conscious that they don't want to. And then after a while, I th it's that thing when you, as soon as you see someone else do it, you suddenly get the confidence to do it. It's, it just well, happens. I, I remember asking you about that for the exam, because I, mm. I emailed you and said, oh, do I really have to show my belly? <laughs> Can I wear a costume that sort of covers it? Yeah. Um, and now in class, I've just decided, well, who cares? You know? mm. I've had two babies, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, it's actually quite nice. It feels quite liberating, I think. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it does. It does happen. You do see people getting just. It's a gradual thing. It's not like you go to one class and all of a sudden you're ready to, you know, wear a two-piece costume. It, it, it just happens gradually, and um, you see people getting just that bit more bold. Um, it might not, it, for some people that means revealing a bit more flesh, but for not mm -hmm. for everybody that's not always, you know, reflected in what they're wearing. It might just be in their, the way that they dance, or um, sometimes beginners are even too shy to wear a hip belt. The amount of people that say, oh, you know, I say, oh, you've got a new hip belt. They say, oh no, I've had it in the cupboard for about I six mean, months, but I've only just been brave <laughs> enough to wear it to class. You know, little things like that, which mm -hmm. surprised me, but... Um, it just gradually people mm. do start to feel more able to make their bodies, I suppose, a bit more visible. Mm. I think it's attracting it attention, isn't it? If yes. You ornament yourself or adorn yourself with a hip belt or some big earrings mm. or something. Um, and perhaps in our culture, we're sort of taught not to draw attention to yourself. If you're yeah. a good girl, you sort Blend of to, in. yeah shy away. And yeah. Of, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think it, I think it is about that thing, and there's a lot of people that don't like even things like standing at the back of the class. For some people, it's a big deal to move to the front of the class, and because they're worried about being seen. But you see it gradually. People will be willing and not so doubtful of themselves about being seen, mm. um, and that's something I've noticed over recent years as well. All these little kinds of issues that that we all deal with all the time, all of us, I do, everybody does, about, you know, your body and how you're perceived and all that kind of thing, especially when you've had kids, especially with this <laughs> big bump here as well, um, you're changing all the time, you know, as we age, as we have kids, as we, you know, our weight fluctuates, all that kinds of thing, we've constantly got this sort of monitor in our minds mm -hmm. about how we look, I think, and um, for a lot of people, the dancing, um, does help erase a lot of those doubts yeah. about how kind of worthy they are in relation to their body, if mm. that makes sense. Because mm. I think a lot of that starts maybe in adolescence when you're at school doing PE and maybe not enjoying mm. <laughs> being in that environment. Mm. And I've had people in yoga classes who, I had a one lady in particular, she wouldn't take her socks off for a year. And one day I just noticed that she'd taken the socks off and, oh. there, you know, there's something about her feet that yeah. You know, and one day she just like, no, it's time. Yeah. And I, I remember that moment. You know, and it's a big deal. Yeah. Something like that for somebody, it doesn't mm -hmm. seem like much to us, but it can be a massive deal because people, it's about feeling vulnerable, I think. Yeah. It can feel like, oh, if I do this, I'm going to expose myself. The biggest fears for, in terms of belly dance, I don't know if it's the same for yoga, but the biggest fears that my students have is that they're going to embarrass themselves, mm -hmm. they're going to look silly, they're going to look inappropriate somehow, mm -hmm. or they're going to just look not nice, you know, and mm -hmm. it's, it's um, 
it's awful to think that, that women do feel that way, but I think they do. And it couldn't be about anything like the feet, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. people just don't want to expose them, they feel like it's this huge issue. Um, and so it's wonderful when you see these mini breakthroughs mm -hmm. um, that people have, it's, it's just great. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the best bits of teaching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's great. For me, that's what it's all about, mm -hmm. quite honestly. And I was going to ask you about the shows as well, because um, Am I right thinking there's two a year, there's one before Christmas? Yeah, we have, it's like a multi-school thing. I have other colleagues in the area, we get together and we have two big end of term shows a year. So this is where students of belly dance will um, uh, perform what, what they've learned uh, to an audience of other dancers and family and friends. It's quite, it's quite cosy, but, but they are quite big events as well. And um, it's the moment where you can get your bling on, get your belly dance <laughs> gear on, um, and just show the world what you've done, really. And mo mostly students are keen to perform, they want to perform, but not everybody does. We don't make it compulsory, it's not um, forced upon you. Um, but mostly students want to do it, which is always a pleasant surprise. You know, you're never quite sure you know, whether, especially with a new class, mm -hmm. whether or not they're going to be interested in actually exhibiting what they've done. Mm -hmm. But usually they do. Why do you think that is? I think it's, there's not, when you think about our lives, I think there's not that much opportunity to necessarily get up on a stage mm -hmm. and do something completely different and just have that attention for a while mm -hmm. and have that opportunity to express yourself in such a different way. Mm -hmm. We don't, our daily lives don't allow for that much sort of expression always mm -hmm. and we have all these different people that we are, you're, you know, wherever you work, you've got your professional um, sort mm -hmm. of face that you have, you might be a parent or, or you're a partner or a husband or a wife or whatever it is. There's not always that much space to, to to have that kind of expression, and I think that opportunity to do it up on stage and dance and just be that person for a moment is quite a precious thing, and especially once you've had a taste of that <laughs> and you realise, oh, it's, this is great, you know, this is really good fun. And, yeah. um, I think that means a lot to a lot of people. I think it must really boost people's confidence once they've done it yeah. and they think, oh, that went okay. Yes. The thing that tends to happen, especially mm -hmm. for um, somebody uh, performing for the first time, is beforehand, why am I doing this? I feel so nervous, I feel a bit sick, this is awful, <laughs> what are we doing? Oh my goodness. And afterwards, the first thing is, oh, when's the next show? When, <laughs> when can we do it again? When's the next show? Yeah. You know, that always happens. It's, it's, um, you're five minutes of pain. Quite, yeah, it is in a way. Yeah, because yeah. I, I remember the first one before Christmas that I did. I didn't feel that nervous beforehand, but I got onto the stage and I could feel my lips. <laughs> <laughs> it's so strange because I've done lots yeah. of presentations and conferences, you know, but yeah. it's just that different situation. But mm. at the same time, I did love it. Mm. It it's quite a unique thing. Yeah, I think, especially when you, you enjoy it and you, yeah. you it's like you want to share your passion, don't you? And yes. You your enjoyment of something. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah it, is, it is about sharing because it is a performance for the audience at the end mm -hmm. of the day, and you you do it is it's like a gift really. You do you are giving and we call it giving a performance, and that's that's what you do. And you can and it can it can give you all sorts of feelings and emotions before and during and after the whole performance. It doesn't seem like a big thing, but actually for a lot of people it is a big thing. And I think there is something, sort of like a mini kind of transformation every time you do that mm. performance. It's another, it's another performance. You've gone through that whole experience again. And I think it does do something, like you say, to your confidence. Mm. Because you did it, you got through it, you did a good job. And you know, it's another part becomes part of who you are. Yes. You are then a belly dance performer, and mm -hmm. for a lot of people, that's quite that's a special thing to say that I'm I'm a bit, I'm a performer. I've performed mm -hmm. belly dance. Mm -hmm. Another thing I really like about the shows is that there are women of all shapes and sizes and ages, and I think that's so healthy mm -hmm. for younger girls to see. So I took my two girls along to this last show and one last year. Yeah. And just for them to see real women, mm. rather than in magazines where you have sort of airbrushed faces and they all tend to be a similar body shape. And mm. 
So for me, it's really important to expose them to all these different women. Definitely. <laughs> yes, and to think that it's not only, you know, young young women, you know, that, that, that dance. That's not only who dancing is for. Dancing mm -hmm. is, for, is, is, is for all ages. And um, again, it sounds like a bit of a cliche, but you know, in the day, in our daily lives, we are just bombarded with you know, youth, 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 all the time. Slimness and youth, all the time, seems to be, um, you know, just this message. Sometimes it's very overt, but a lot of the time, and it's almost like subliminal. Mm. It's just around us all the time. So these kind of things, I agree with you. I think they are really important. And. Um, as soon as my daughter's old enough, she'll be, well, she's been to a few of the smaller shows, not the really long ones, but, you know, I want her to come along and see that, you know, dancing is a way of life. It's not just a sort of um, removed thing mm. that you look at with pop stars or whatever. Mm. It's something that you can have in, weave into your life and, um, and it is for everybody and all sizes as well. They're the two biggest, the most questions I get about people wanting to join. The hesitation is often over age. Am I too old? And, and size, am I too big? I mean, it just breaks my heart. Every time I get a query saying, you know, I'm quite on the curvy side, or, well, I'm retired now, I'm in my 60s, and it's, it seems, I can't wait for a time when people don't feel the need mm -hmm. to ask that, if you know what I mean. I just want people yeah. to feel, you know, that there is no issue. But, but at the moment, I, I think there is, mm. unfortunately. And so it's, it's true in yoga classes as well. People ask about, oh, you know, maybe I'm on the more curvy side, is it appropriate? And, and unfortunately, I think a lot of yoga classes are built for a certain type of, mm. of body. And certainly with the classes I do, it's, you know, anybody is welcome. Um, because, you know, mm. we've all got our own unique body and what's, what I find really beautiful at the shows is that you see that sort of inner beauty shining through mm. and the sort of somebody's own interpretation mm. of the music. It's just fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That is what it's all about. It's about it's about the dance and it's about a person. It could be anybody. It's how that person connects with the music and engages with the music through the movement in their body. Mm and expresses that and interprets that and that can be it doesn't matter what what how old that body is how big how small it doesn't matter it's all about that just that expression and how it all comes together because yeah. linked to these other questions i was i was thinking back to when i did the exam <clears throat> and people arrived in their outerwear sort of maybe so sort of black sort of plain things and they get into change and they reveal these incredible <laughs> costumes, like you said, bling, <laughs> really bright, yeah. things and hair, amazing yeah. makeup comes on. And it seems to me that there's something about the belly dancing that really allows people to connect with their femininity mm. as well. It's like they're revealing yeah. a different part of it, it's like an, It's like the perfect excuse, <laughs> if you know what I mean. There's, it's like I said before, that you know, sometimes you just don't feel that there's enough space in our lives to just express things that we actually would find fun, exciting, you know, funny or, you know, whatever it is, or even spiritual, all these different kinds of connotations that people have, there's not that much opportunity. And having the chance to get changed and change your appearance that much and put things on that you can never have the opportunity to wear, you know, I always encourage them um, my students to, you know, wear the body fit if you want to. It's not compulsory, <laughs> but if you feel like you're going to really enjoy it, wear it. You know, wear, do it. Get do what do something different with your hair. Do something that is going to just make you feel good, mm. basically. Um, mm. And don't be shy about it. Um, it. It's a bit. It is a big part of it. Like you say, it's like this revelation. Mm. Um, but you do see see people really come alive once they've got the costuming on, they, they, they can just bring something a bit different out, yeah. which is really good. Mm -hmm. And I, I particularly liked the show when we, we all danced together. There was such a feeling, you were talking mm -hmm. about before about community, but just sort of having mm -hmm. all these people dressed up amazingly, and I think you could almost feel the endorphins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, it's something it's weird like, happens. Yeah, it's such a wonderful <laughs> feeling, all dancing together and yeah. sharing that moment together. Yeah, it, it is completely unique. There is something, I don't quite know how to describe it, but like you say, it is a moment where 
especially when it's a group that you've been having classes with for a while and you build up to this kind of performance at the end. Um, yeah, it, it is quite a special thing. It is quite, uh, you do get a bit of a rush from that. I must say with the belly dancing, I, I definitely use different muscles than when the yoga class, especially things right. like the camel, you know, I mm. think it uses different abdominal muscles, so uh, I yeah. can see the sort of post-baby as well, you know, it must be a good thing yeah. for helping your body. I think so, um, it's, it's sort of like a bit of a chicken and egg situation for me, because I, last time, I had quite a short maternity leave with my first pregnancy, and um, I had sort of performance things mm. coming up that I had to get in shape for because I needed to fit back into my costumes. <laughs> that was the main reason, so I could actually wear wear something. And um, so I was kind of using the dancing. I was doing lot. I was dr doing lots of drills and things at home to get back in shape. So I was kind of using the dancing so that I could do the dancing. If you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> um, uh, but uh, yeah, that's one thing. That's a nice side effect that a lot of my students mm. report is is they do have a change in in sort of like the, the shaping and the toning mm. I think where we use a lot of obliques in belly dance yeah. down the side there and there's something that sort of happens to your body that mm. does give it a certain kind of sort of shape mm. which is not necessarily for me the intention of doing it but it's a nice side effect for mm. a lot of people and they do feel stronger and I think with the posture as well uh, makes them more mindful of their posture mm. um, and uh, you know just generally feeling a bit more at home in their bodies as well mm. and a bit more aware of their bodies. So. I think the other thing I like about the belly dancing is the fact that we dance um, just barefoot mm. on the ground mm. <clears throat> so compared to other kinds of dance I've done in the past it, it feels very grounded mm. um, and that, that feels Quite important. Mm. Um, and that, that sort of, I don't know, using your body in a very natural way. I mm -hmm. suppose. Yes. There's no. There's no. Um, there's nothing between you and the floor, basically. So your balance and your connection with the ground is sort of about as close as you can mm. possibly get. Um, I mean, I used to do ballroom dancing, and for that, you're wearing high heels and. The whole point of that is to make the legs look longer mm -hmm. and also to push the weight over the balls of the feet because that's what's required for that kind of dancing. So you're deliberately mm -hmm. sort of got something on your foot that purposely adjusts your yeah. position. Mm -hmm. um, and also you get that with a lot of with a lot of other dances as well. And like you say, with belly dance, the whole idea is to try and remove mm -hmm. anything, any obstacle between you and, and the ground. Um, so that you can, you know, use gravity and find your own sort of balance. Mm. Um, uh, and it feels nice, I think. Yeah. It feels nice. Yeah. The last thing I was going to say is that <clears throat> it seems to me because of this increased confidence that people get from doing belly dancing, it must be a stepping stone for them maybe changing other things in their life. Have you found that's happened at all? Y yes, I have. I mean, it, it's funny. Um, it's obviously not the same for everyone, but quite often people come to dancing when they're at sometimes quite a bit of a low point um, and they're sort of looking for something, they're looking for maybe just a bit of meaning or something that's going to, you know, get them out of the house or meet people or just something to focus on if they've got a lot of other stuff that they, they need to try and detach from in their lives or whatever and quite, it's funny, I, I've had quite a few students over the years that when they've, if they've been through a horrible breakup, mm. they've come along to belly dancing. Oh. I, I don't know if it's because yeah. they just want to be around women. Because <laughs> <laughs> most of my students, my students are all, happen to all be women. Um, but um, I think I think with with the confidence and also with making friendships um, and having something um, having something to sort of almost distract them from maybe other things that aren't going so well in their life. Mm. Um, it does often have a knock-on effect when people get more confident. Um, they, you know, they become somehow less kind of doubtful of themselves sometimes, mm. and it does, and it can rub off into other areas, um, even in people's work life as well. I've had some students that have said it's made them feel 
less shy at work, they've been able to speak out more in meetings and things. I mean, I could not have predicted <laughs> that that was going to be the side effect of, you know, teaching somebody to belly dance, but that has happened before. I have a couple of times I've had students say that they just feel like they can walk a bit taller in the office and, and be more confident about, about speaking. Yeah, um, that's great. So, yeah, that's great. I love those stories. That I live for that stuff. I, mm -hmm. I think it's brilliant. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having yeah. me. Let's wish for the baby. Thank you for dancing. Oh, me. yes, I will do. Yes, and I have to say, I, 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 I will keep dancing. And thanks to Tessa <laughs> as well from her fantastic um, dancing preparation for birth class that I attended. <laughs> Had some belly dance, but also some dances that I wasn't familiar with as well. Yeah. So and I think it's just about giving permission to people, isn't it? To dance mm. wherever they want to need to dance. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> Even if that's sort of at the hospital. Yeah, having your baby <laughs> in the birthing centre, I'll be there. <laughs> to take your midwife a hip scarf. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, I should do, shouldn't I? Say, look, you better do this dance with me. You do those hip slides now. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That's okay. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Bye.